this video, I'm going to walk you through how to update a claim in Claim Wizard. The first thing you'll need to do is open the claim that you'd like to update. You can find your claim one of several ways. The first way is to go to your workbench, sort on or search for the information that you'd like to find, click the file number to open the claim. From here you'll get the quick view and then you can open the claim. The next way is to go up into the top right corner into the search bar. Click any of the information that you may have on the claim, press enter, and in search results you'll see the client and the property listed here. Now you'll notice you're in the claims tab and we have this particular claim open up in our claim view. From here you can see all of the information related to this particular claim and if you'd like to update the claim you just look over here to the right, click the update claim button and you're presented with the same dialog box again. Here I'm going to walk you through entering a log entry onto the claim. You can change the effective date. It defaults to today, but you can always backdate it. Log entry source is your activity templates. And if you wanted to add a note, you can do that. Click add note and you'll be able to freeform additional notes to accompany your claim status. Here in the activity template, these are predefined activity templates put in by Claim Wizard. If you'd like to change or modify any of these statuses, please contact the administrator on your Claim Wizard account. He or she has the ability to customize these specifically for your company's use. Once you're in the Claim Activity Template search box, you can search partial pieces of the information so that you can get to the exact claim status that you'd like to update. In this instance, I've received a check, so I type the word check and it's going to filter on just those claim activity templates. Click on this particular status and if it requires more information such as a dollar amount, a date, etc., it will prompt me for that. So here I just enter in the amount of the check that I received in the mail and any notes if I wanted to. Once the information is into your satisfaction, click the Save Entry button. Claim Wizard has saved the information automatically and then presented you back into the log entry screen again in case you want to enter another status update. The next task in Update Claims is Action Items. Here you can add an ad hoc action item that applies to this claim only from this dialog box. First you would want to enter in the task title, enter in the due date, Assign who is responsible for this task. You can assign it to groups, a claim role, or specific staff personnel. Enter in any notes that you may see fit. One thing that you should note is that there is a star that you could mark a task as critical or normal priority. Tasks marked as critical will send an email notification to all people that the task has been assigned to Normal priority will be emailed as part of their daily summary. The open blue star is normal, filled red star is critical. Once you are done with this task, click Save Action. Claim Wizard has saved the information and you're once again presented with the action items list in case you want to add more. To see any action items assigned to this claim, you can go over to the tab in the claim that says action items or visit the workbench on the home button and look under the upcoming action items list. Next if you'd like to upload files to Claim Wizard you can do it from here. You're also able to upload files to a claim on the left hand side you'll see a files tab over here that you can click on that and get a similar dialog box. If you'd like to upload files such as scanned in documents or photographs to this particular claim, all you need to do is hit the Browse button to open up your computer's file system to then choose and upload your files, or you can drag and drop from this screen. Here I'm going to take these two files, drag them over to the dialog box, and upload them to the system.
Once you're done, you can click Done. Claim Wizard leaves you at the Upload Files dialog box in case you'd like to upload more files. Now the last update claim area is Claim Phase. You can manually change the claim phase to any one of a number of predefined phases in Claim Wizard. If you knew that this claim was currently at the inspection level, you could set it here as well as add additional notes. This helps you and others that are interacting with this claim to know what phase this claim is at a glance without having to go through and read all notes and all information to try to figure out how far in the settlement process this particular claim is. Once you're done, click the Update Phase button and the information is saved successfully. Once you're finished updating claim, you can click the Done button to close out the dialog box.